Dear villagers, dear villagers, next Tuesday at 11 in the morning at Chorchuritabari Flood Shelter, Horipur Ward Disaster Management Committee, WDMC, have arranged a mock drill to raise awareness on disability inclusive disaster risk reduction, DIDRR. You are all cordially invited. How are you? Fine, thank you. I'm going to WDMC meeting. Are you coming? Yes, I'm also going to the WDMC meeting. But first, let's go to your house to check out how everything is going on. Okay, let's go. We live in a flood-prone area. This house was raised above flood water level. During recent flooding this year, six families took shelter in my house. Since the tube well was raised, it has been a great help, not only for persons with disabilities, but for everyone in the community during flood times. This longer handle is used because less effort is needed to pump the water. It particularly helps persons with disabilities, but also pregnant women, elderly people and children. This toilet with a pan system is really convenient for us. The drum helps a lot and the type and pipe from the drum is also good. Since we have no electricity here, we cannot install a motorized system for storing water for the toilet. Now anyone can fill up the drum and I can use it whenever I need. Thank you for taking the trouble to come here today. Through GUK, we got different trainings from CDD. I learned about my rights and where I'm entitled to get formal and legal assistance. After coming back, we formed Ward Disaster Management Committee, WDMC, and Self-Help Group. Through this, we assist persons with disabilities on different issues, including preparation for disaster. At every WDMC meeting, all of us deposit 20 taka on a regular basis. During this year's flood, we took out 1,000 taka and bought some dry food for some families who were at risk. That wasn't much, but we contributed with whatever we had. Through our Disability Inclusive Disaster Risk Reduction Program, we work specifically to build awareness among rural societies. Group meetings, yard discussions, mock drills, and street theater are some of the events that we arrange. You can see that in today's street theater, persons with disabilities are acting, singing, playing instruments. On the one hand, we are showing the general public that with suitable environment and opportunity, persons with disabilities can contribute to society like anyone else. On the other hand, we are showing the ways persons with disabilities can be assisted and their risk level during disaster can be reduced. This is the river. Every year there's flooding. We're all at risk, but the persons with disabilities are disproportionately affected. After flooding, this river bank starts collapsing. Like me, there are many persons with disabilities here. Through training, we have become more aware 
During the recent floods, I helped many people to reach the flood shelters with accessible boats and rafts. If we get assistance like this, we could make even more contribution. In today's mock drill event, many persons with disabilities are directly participating in as well as managing events. They are working just like others, which is aligned to the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, UNCRPD. Previously, we assumed that it needs large funds and technical support to involve persons with disabilities into disaster risk reduction DRR programs, which has definitely been proven wrong. When we started working with CBM and CDD in our DRR program, we learned that only by changing attitudes a huge difference could be made. We know that persons with disabilities constitute a large part of our society. So excluding them makes comprehensive development impossible. I am now self-dependent. I hope other persons with disabilities will also get opportunities to learn like me and claim their rights. I long for that day when they are capacitated to attain their rights. Nothing will make me happier.